Okay, so part A, calculate the number of primroses at the start of the study. So at the start of the study, t is equal to zero. So you just need to substitute t equals zero and you get 800 e to the power of zero, which will go to one, one plus three e to the power of zero. So you have 800 over one plus three, which is four. So it's going to be 200. I'll do part B, although this is not, because um, you should be able to solve this kind of equation eventually, but uh, uh, it won't be on the test. Find the value of, exact value of t when p is 250. So we're going to substitute 250 into the equation. And then the idea is to make e to the power of 0 0.1t the subject. So the first thing I would do is multiply that through by the denominator. So you get rid of the fraction. There you go. So that's times by that. And then you expand. Put the, these two terms on one side, so 800 subtract 750 is 50. And then divide by 50, I'm moving on that side as well. So it's going to be 5. And then Wanting to get to the power, you've got E on its own. Now you can apply logs to both sides. If you apply the log, natural log, to this side, you'll be left with the 0.1t. Because what happens there is you'll get ln E to the power of 0.1t. So you imagine bringing this power down. And then you've got ln E, ln E is equal to 1. That should be automatic. Alternatively, you could just rewrite it as, as 0.1t is log base e of 5. So t is equal to 10 ln 5. Okay, we're going to do part c, because part c you should be able to do. Okay, uh, we've got to find the exact value of dp dt when t is equal to 10. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to do this one because I didn't spot it. That was meant to be colored in red as well. So you won't be able to differentiate this till you go to learn something called the quotient rule. So I won't bother with that one. I need to make an amendment in the assignment. So let's just do d. Explain why the population of primroses can never be 270. So P is equal to 800e to the power of 0.1t over 1 plus 3e 0.1t. So the idea here is to multiply the, the top and the bottom. Well, maybe not multiply, we can multiply it by e to the power of minus 0.1t, but effectively you want to divide it by e to the power of 0.1t. Let's see what happens there. So you will get 800 on the top, and on the bottom you're going to get 1 over e to the power of 0.1t, and then plus 3. And the reason you do that, so you get rid of... Uh, the, e, the positive powers of t, because that is a very, very big number as t goes on and on. It tends to infinity. So you don't want this in this expression. So you do want, though, something like this, because this is uh, e to the power of naught, minus 0 0.1t, or 1 over e to the power of 0.1t. And as time get, moves along and t becomes bigger, and bigger, so we say, let's say, tends to infinity, e to the power of 0.1t, that tends 
to infinity but if you've got 1 over then minus 0.1t e to the power of minus 0.1t that tends to 0 so if you try and put a few numbers into of t very large numbers and you will see how close to 0 it is so if you look at this you get 800 divided by 3 so 800 divided by 3 uh, which is clearly going to be less than 270 let's see if what because 810 over 3 would be 270 so this is less than 270 you can work it out what it is so p cannot be 270 or above 800 over 3. So hopefully that helps.